assalamu alaikum students welcome to physiologic youtube channel in this video we will be discussing the mcqs related to neuroanatomy in the start we'll be focusing on the basic mcqs and the mcqs related to spinal cord and as we move forward the mcqs will be getting much more complex and uh, covering the other areas of the brain like medulla oblongata pons uh, cerebral cortex thalamus hypothalamus etc so looking at the first mcq the statement is which of the following options correctly describes the structures included in the brain stem option a medulla oblongata pons and cerebellum option b midbrain pons and medulla option c thalamus midbrain and cerebellum and option d pons medulla oblongata and thalamus and the correct option is option b midbrain pons and medulla this structure here that includes medulla pons and midbrain is known as brain stem if we collect pons medulla and cerebellum this structure is known as hind brain so you need to differentiate the structures included in the hind brain with the structures included in the brain stem mcq number 2 the spinal cord terminates inferiorly in which part of the spine option a cervical spine option b thoracic spine option c lumbar spine and option c sacral spine and the correct option is option c lumbar spine you need to memorize you need to remember that the spinal cord does not travel all uh, down to the cedial or sacral spine it terminates in the lumbar spine and at the lumbar spine the level is l1 l2 level and here where it terminates that point is known as conus medullaris and under it the collection of nerve fibers is known as cauda equina and the thin uh, layer of phylum terminale that connects the spinal cord towards the back of the coccyx is known as phylum terminale mcq number 3 how many cranial nerves are present in the human body option a 12 pairs option b 31 pairs option c 24 nerves and option d both a and c and the correct option is option d both a and c as we all know that there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves but this also means that the total nerves are 24 nerves so the correct option would be 12 pairs or 24 nerves so option d is a correct one mcq number 4 which of the following structure carries information towards the cell body of the neuron option a axons option b nephron option c dendrites and option d schwann cells and the correct option here is dendrites you need to understand you need to memorize that the structures that carry information towards the cell body are dendrites and the structure that carries information away from the cell body or soma are axons so dendrites brings information towards the cell body and axons takes information away from the cell body of neuron mcq number 5 what is the major difference in the brain and spinal cord with respect to the location of gray matter option a gray matter is located inside in spinal cord and outside in brain option b gray matter is located inside outside in spinal cord and inside in brain option c gray matter is present inside in both brain and spinal cord option d gray matter is present outside in both brain and spinal cord and the correct option here is option a gray matter is located inside in spinal cord and outside in brain if we look at the cut section of spinal cord and the brain we will see that this h shape or butterfly shape structure is gray matter and it is located inside in the spinal cord and if we look at the cross section of the brain it is located in the outside and the white matter is inside so the correct option is option a mcq number 6 which out which part of the spinal cord is sensory in nature option a dorsal option b ventral option c posterior option d both a and c and the correct option is option d both a and c as we all know that the word dorsal and posterior they are the same words the dorsal or posterior portion of spinal cord is sensory and the ventral or anterior portion of the spinal cord is motor mcq number 7 how many nerves in total arise from spinal cord option a 60 option b 31 option c 62 and option d 64 and the correct option is option c 62 we all know that there are 31 pairs of peripheral nerves that arise from spinal cord but these are the pairs in the mcq statement we have asked about the number of nerves so 31 into 2 there are 62 
total peripheral nerves that arise from spinal cord so the correct option is c if uh, in the mcu the statement is how many pairs of peripheral nerves arise from the spinal cord the correct option would be 12 pairs mcu number eight how many pairs of peripheral nerves come out of the cervical vertebral level option a five option b six option c seven and option d eight and the correct option is option d eight you must remember that there are total seven cervical vertebras but the number of nerves that come out of this segment of the spine are eight so seven cervical vertebras but eight cervical nerves coming out of the cervical segment MCQ number 9, spinal cord connects your brain to the other parts of their body. It is dash in shape. Option A, oval. Option B, conical. Option C, cylindrical. And option D, round. So the shape of spinal cord is cylindrical. It is cylindrical in shape. So the option C is correct. MCQ number 10, if we look at the embryonic development of the brain, the midbrain develops from which of the following? Option A, prosencephalon, option B, diencephalon, option C, mesencephalon, and option D, myelencephalon. And the correct option is option C, mesencephalon. Here it is the midbrain and it develops from mesencephalon. So you must remember that mesencephalon and midbrain, they are interlinked. MCQ number 11, during embryonic development of the brain, prosencephalon divides in two. Option A, diencephalon and mesencephalon. Option B, telencephalon and myelencephalon. Option C, telencephalon and diencephalon. And option D, diencephalon and thrombencephalon. And the correct option is option C, telencephalon and diencephalon. There are basically three cavities. When we look at the embryonic development, the first cavity is prosencephalon that divides into two structure that is telencephalon and diencephalon the telencephalon forms a cerebral cortex and the diencephalon forms the inner structure that is subthalamus hypothalamus epithalamus and the midbrain as we discussed before that the midbrain is linked to mesencephalon so the prosencephalon divides into two the telencephalon and diencephalon MCQ number 12, if we look at the cross-section of spinal cord, two distinct areas are present, that is gray matter and white matter. Which of the following option is correctly correct regarding white and gray matter of spinal cord? Option A, gray matter is equal to neuronal cell bodies and white matter is equal to exons. Option B, gray matter is equal to exons and white matter is equal to neuronal cell bodies. Option C, both gray and white matter have mixed presentation of exons and neuronal cell bodies. And option D, none of these. And the correct option here is option A, gray matter is equal to neuronal cell bodies and white matter is equal to exons. You must remember that the collection of neuronal cell bodies in the spinal cord or brain is known as gray matter and whereas the collection of exons in the spinal cord or brain is known as white matter. MC number 13, the bundle of nerve fibers located inferior to spinal cord at lumbar and sacral levels supplying the lower limbs is known as option A, phylum terminal, option B, conus medullaris, option C, corda equina, and option D, none of these. And the correct option is option C, corda equina, as we discussed before, that the spinal cord terminates at L1, L2 level. Below it, there is a bundle of nerve fibers that is collectively known as corda equina. The point where the spinal cord terminates is conus medullaris and the thin layer of uh, pia matter that attaches this uh, spinal cord to the back of the coccyx is known as phylum terminale. And again, the bundle of nerve fibers are known as corda equina. MCQ number 14, how many peripheral nerves arise from the coccygeal vertebra? Option A, 1, option B, 2, option C, 3, and option D, 4. And the correct option is option A, 1. In the image, you can see that only one peripheral nerve is coming out of the coccyx region. So the correct option is 1. MCQ number 15, the substantia nigra is located in which part of the brain? Option A, forebrain, option B, midbrain, option C, hindbrain, and option D, none of these. And the correct option here is option B, midbrain. It is an important nucleus, substantia nigra, that is linked with a disease known as Parkinson's disease. The damage to substantia nigra 
causes Parkinson's disease, so you must know that it is located in the midbrain. MCQ number 16, what is the major difference between a ganglia and a nuclei? Option A, collection of neuronal cell borders in the CNS is ganglia and in PNS it is called nucleus. Option B, collection of neuronal cell borders in PNS is ganglia and in CNS it is called nucleus. Option C, collection of exons in CNS is called ganglia and in PNS is called nucleus. And option D, none of these. And the correct option here is Option B, collection of neuronal cell bodies in the PNS is called ganglia and in the CNS it is called nucleus. MCQ number 17, white matter consists of nerve fibers embedded in neuroglia and is white in color. The white color is due to Option A, presence of lipid material in nerve fibers, myelin sheets. Option B, presence of fatty material in nerve fibers, myelin sheet. Option C, presence of Schwann cells in nerve fibers, myelin sheets, and option D, presence of oligodendrocytes in nerve fibers of myelin sheets. And the correct option is option A, presence of lipid material in nerve fiber myelin sheet. The white color of white matter is due to presence of lipid material. MCQ number 18, brain and spinal cord are surrounded by three meninges, namely arachnoid, pia, and dura mater. Which of these meninges is the outermost? Option A, pia mater. Option B, dura mater. Option C, arachnoid mater. And option D, none of these. And the correct option is option B, dura mater. Dura mater is the outermost meninges. Option and then below it is the arachnoid mater. And, and the innermost meninges is pia mater. MCQ number 19, cerebrospinal fluid or CSF provides nutrition to your brain and spinal cord. Where is it located? Option A, subdural space. Option B, subarachnoid space. Option C, between pia matter and arachnoid matter. And option D, both B and C. And the correct option is option D, both B and C. You must remember that the CSF is present in subarachnoid space. And what does subarachnoid mean? Subarachnoid means, sub means that the space below arachnoid matter so it will be between pia matter and arachnoid matter so both of these options are the same so the correct option would be option d both b and c mcq number 20 pons and cerebellum are collectively known as option a diencephalon option b metencephalon and option c myelencephalon and option d mesencephalon and the correct option is option d metencephalon as you can see in this image the orange structure that the pons and cerebellum are collectively known as metencephalon, medulla oblongata is known as myelencephalon, we discussed mesencephalon, and we discussed telin and diencephalon, which are the part of prosencephalon. So, these were the basic 20 MCQs related to neuroanatomy. In the coming videos, we'll be discussing the MCQs related to medulla oblongata, pons, midbrain, cerebellum, cortex, and the inner structures of the brain. If you have any questions, you can just comment down below and we'll address them. You can also drop a message at our WhatsApp. If you have not subscribed our channel yet, you can subscribe it by clicking the button below. Inshallah, see you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.